Hallelujah. Can you stretch your hands by faith to this prayer request? When we do this, what supports what we're doing is the understanding that this is an act of faith. This is a representation of your desires. And whilst you are releasing your faith, I'm releasing my faith with you. So go ahead and pray. Ask the Lord to turn every request here to a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'll go down my knees right now and speak over your requests. Shali kaparundo skobraki baratos yebada. Shalabranda barako shopratis kebretish kiete. Rata barada baka prandisha la pradige de bela de bosh. Lord, visit your people. Turn their mourning to dancing. Turn their sorrow to joy. Give them testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Are you declaring by faith? Are you declaring by faith? The Lord, in the name of Jesus, I lay down my request. I will pick up my answers. I lay down my request. I will pick up my breakthrough. I lay down my request. I lay down delay to pick up speed. Someone is praying. I lay down shame to pick up honor. I lay down stagnation to pick up advancement. I lay down retrogression to pick up greatness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay down poverty and I pick up abundance. Let your fire rest upon this. Let it be turned to a harvest of answers. I lay down barrenness and I pick up supernatural children. I lay down joblessness and I pick up a flourishing job. I lay down spiritual lukewarmness and I pick up fire for my spirit man. I lay down ignorance and I pick up abundance of knowledge and understanding. I lay down sickness and ill health. I pick up health, strength, vitality. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I present to you the request of your people, an expression of their faith and their trust in you. They have brought this prayer request in faith believing that you are the God that does wonders even in the midst of your people. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that every request here penned down by faith, let it return to your people as a harvest of answers. Shout amen like you believe. Let it return to you as a harvest of answers. In the name of Jesus, may God intervene supernaturally May God intervene using the ministry of men. May God intervene by connecting you to help us of destiny. I pray for you that in the name of Jesus Christ, the same way you took time to write the request, that is the same time you would, you, the, the same way you would take the time to acknowledge the doings of God one by one. Where you drop shame, pick up honor. Where you drop retrogression, pick up advancement. Where you drop sickness, pick up health and vitality. Where you drop suffering and stagnation, pick up ease and abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where you drop barrenness, pick up a harvest of children. Where you drop lukewarmness, pick up fire and vibrancy in the spirit. I decree and declare by faith that these Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, may you see them no more forever. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Please stand. I want to speak over your finances. Hallelujah. My greatest joy as a man of God is to see everyone excel in every area of your life. First, your spiritual life. Loving Jesus, being on fire, a vibrant prayer life, a vibrant word study life. Are we together? Becoming men and women of character after the image of the Christ. My prayer and my desire again is to see a people transformed, fortified by knowledge and understanding. 
Are we together now? My prayer thirdly is to see a people empowered by the Holy Ghost. Accomplishing strides and possibilities that can only be by the agency of the Spirit. My prayer and my desire for you is to see a people who are purpose driven. People who are not just driven by needs but driven by vision. That every time you cry for a need it is because it is a requirement for your divine vision. But my prayer in addition to all others is to see a people empowered and join the covenant of peace nothing missing nothing broken i hope that i'll be able to talk about finances one more time before the year is done because um truly from an economic standpoint many people have been challenged and any responsible person who loves god and loves his people should at least leave a note of understanding i reckon with the fact that many people are bankrupt of financial resources either because of laziness or because they do not understand the laws that make for wealth and abundance others do not understand the law of value they are not productive they are not and where they are productive they do not know how to sell their value intelligently but i also know that there are others who have done all they know to do as part the laws of wealth and abundance and their finances have just been hijacked by all kinds of demonical forces or the biases and sentiments of men that plague our world that stops our lives from being ideal that sometimes you can do what is required but an individual can stand as a blockade to your efficiency so that the result that should be from your diligence is sabotaged by the wickedness and the antagonism of someone else at such times you need beyond skill. You need the power of God. You need the wisdom of God. Let me tell you the truth. Prophecy plays a role in genuine, lasting wealth and abundance. Make no mistakes about it. When people act like they didn't route their wealth through the Spirit, it's not true. There is an equation of their success that you are not aware of. You are only aware of the transactional dimension of their sustainable wealth. I can tell you by the message of God that there is a component to wealth and abundance that is hinged on the prophetic. The root of anything that has longevity is the realm of the spirit. Either a demonic dimension of the spirit realm or the realm of the spirit are sponsored by the Holy Ghost. So in addition to value, productivity, relationships, increase, investment, business, and all that you have known and learned either formally or let me introduce you tonight to a dimension a superior mysterious but potent dimension that wealth can happen by prophecy are we together now you can reroute favor from wherever it is and draw it into the space of a man to enhance his becoming prophecy does not take away the need for productivity in fact it is enhanced the more you are productive the more you are you are, you are excellent selling value. I want to pray for you and I want you to be very serious as you receive. Especially if you know that things are not alright financially. Don't waste this moment. Hallelujah. Don't waste this moment. Make up your mind that you are going to receive. And even where God has helped you financially, you can still go further and higher so that it gives you room to serve God more. I look forward to people here who will come to Koinonia and say, give me the yearly budget, financial budget of Koinonia. And as a single person, you will write it. I know that you have the heart already. When God places the resources in your hands, I know you will do it. For now, God is taking us gradually. We are not ashamed of growth. For many of us, it took time and it took diligence and the mercy of God and prophecy like you are receiving now. No matter how anointed you are, it will take time. But I'm praying for you, particularly for those of you who are in serious financial issues now. Housing issues, rent issues, food is even the worst. I believe that nobody under the sound of my voice, especially a believer, should go to bed hungry. It shouldn't be. It should be an economic policy and I know that the government is doing the best that they can and know to do but we owe a responsibility are we together to be able to use the prophetic and help enhance the quality of living of a people I will feel very guilty as a man of God 
that I camp you here for hours, minister to you, and that you have people who go back home void of favor, and that you and your children will sleep hungry while I'm enjoying a nice meal in my house. It is not the character of a true shepherd. If I'm eating in my house knowing that there is bread in your house, we both are happy and God is glorified. In the name of Jesus, the cause of emptiness in your life, financial emptiness in your life, I pray for you by the God of grace and God of mercy this night by a prophetic word I declare enjoy supplies from today enjoy supplies from today enjoy supplies from today enjoy financial supplies from today may God raise strangers men you do not know and cause them to be interested in your rising may God raise captains of industry and direct their interest to you and your family in the name of Jesus I forbid you from begging I forbid you from begging by the wisdom of the Spirit I forbid you from begging by the favor of God I forbid you from begging by the gift of man in the name of Jesus the Bible says that God is able to give us treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places where the eyes of men cannot see. May God show you gold in the midst of debris. May God show you gold in the midst of chaos. You will see things others don't see. You will capitalize on opportunities for your profiting. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, whoever is looking for a man to help, may they find you whoever is looking for a man to lift may they find you in the name of jesus for those of you who are owing you are owing corporate debt personal debt ministry debt i decree and declare by the gift of men the ministry of helpers come out of that financial calamity now come out of that financial calamity now I bless the works of your hands. Go and prosper in business. Go and prosper in your career. Go and prosper in your investments. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare every careless decision depleting your finances, careless financial decisions, I decree and declare may the wisdom of God bail you out of such kind of lifestyle in the name of Jesus since you believe in financial testimonies I release it to your life this week I release it to your life this week I release it to your life in addition to your spiritual growth in addition to your prayer life in addition to your word study in addition to your loving Jesus in addition to your serving Jesus I declare go and prosper Go and prosper with dignity and with honor in the name of Jesus. For some of you, you have been helped by God, but the dimension you will experience this week, let it be such that you have never seen before. Let it be such that you have never seen before in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare, let something rest on your head from tonight. Hear me? Hear me, favor is likened to light that shines upon the face of a man, a glow that attracts help. I'm praying for you, whatever has covered you, so that those to help you cannot identify that you are the one they were sent to. I declare that veil is torn from off your face. That veil is torn from off your destiny, torn from off your face. In the name of Jesus, finally I pray for you. In the name that is above all names hear me every assignment you have now before you that depends on finances wherever God has ordained for that money to come from I don't care if it's in millions or billions provided it is for your destiny and will ultimately lead to the glorification of the Christ I stand by prophecy I gravitate those resources to your life I gravitate those resources to your life 
I hope you believe it. I gravitate those resources to your life. For some of you, while you are here in Nigeria, foreigners, God will connect you to men across the nations. They will desire to help you of their own accord. They will hold your hands and see to it that you are empowered also. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. The distraction that comes with prosperity, I decree and declare it is exempted from your life. The spiritual lukewarmness that befalls men in the presence of plenty, may it be far from your life. You will prosper still having your zeal for Jesus. You will prosper still having your passion for Jesus. You will prosper still prioritizing the kingdom. You will prosper and your resources will be beneficial for the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of faith. Thanking him for all that has happened tonight. Wave your hands for the miracles, for the prophetic words that have come upon your life. The honor, the favor, the open doors, the deliverance. Wave your hands in anticipation for the many testimonies that will follow you all through this week. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for your patience. Allow me the opportunity to make an altar call for the sake of someone who needs to make it right with Jesus before leaving this place. You came to church from the opening prayer, the announcements, praise and worship, the word session, the miracles. You watched everything that would convince you that Jesus is alive. I do not want you to just see and watch and be excited and clap and cry and be emotional and go back home. Let me give you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life. I'm doing two calls in one. Number one, for those who are saying, Apostle, if it's for my sake, please take a minute and give me an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. Number two, those who are saying, I want to rededicate my life with Jesus. Upon seeing all that I've seen today, I truly need Jesus. Wherever you are, God bless you, my dear brother is coming. I'm going to count one to five with boldness and confidence. Leave your seat and come to the front. Wherever you are, across the balcony, up, down, outside, let's celebrate them as they come. You are coming to Jesus, the lover of your soul, your Savior, your Lord, your King. Are there still people coming? As the Holy Spirit prompts you, do not sit back. It's a new day for you. It's an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. They are still coming. Let's, let's encourage them as they come. I see people coming from outside. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping Koinonia until they are here. For those of you who are making this decision online, distance is no barrier. As I lead these ones to make this prayer of salvation, I'd like you to join them wherever you're connected from and believe in your heart that as you make this prayer, Jesus becomes Lord of your life and experience. Thank you. You're joining them. Please make that quickly and let's do the salvation prayer together. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. It's always an honor for me personally as I lead people to Jesus. This is what he desires, that all men be saved and that they come unto the knowledge of the truth. So you're joining us from here, joining us online. I want to salute you for the courage to declare his lordship over your life. Let me request that you lift your right hand and say this loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I've heard your word. I have seen your power. I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I'm a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands as I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I call these ones bona fide recipients of the life of God. They have declared your lordship over their lives consciously. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the grace to live and walk in victory, let it be theirs from tonight. 
in the name of Jesus. The grace to live the victorious Christian life, to grow in grace, to grow in knowledge. I pray that the Lord will impart it upon you right now. I decree and declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave indeed is broken over your life. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. You go from glory to glory, grace to grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Please look to my right. That should be your left. There are counselors waving the placard that will have a word with you and will pray with you. And then you will quickly return to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Are you, are you still clapping for them, Koinonia? Let's honor them. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So next week... Um, we'll take a fast on Sunday morning. Just, just um, we'll take a fast up until um, let's say four, so that you are able to break and prepare your heart for what God is going to be ushering us into. So please take out time. When we ask that we fast like this, um, hopefully we are going to structure a lot of other fasting programs that will be extended enough to give us room to really maximize the blessedness. Of fasting and prayer you can't really fast one day and do much sometimes you need to have extended periods where your spirit man is built and um, we have programs for that for now we're trying to squeeze out on every opportunity that we have to maximize that so on Sunday um, by Saturday Saturday night the media would put up the prayer focus if you just abstain from food and you don't pray and study strategically you didn't maximize your fasting so fasting is beyond just abstaining from food if you're on a health program that's fine but if you are really fasting for spiritual benefits uh, what gives credence to your fasting is not just abstaining from food but the time that is invested in knowledge invested in flogging it out with God and destiny the time invested in prayer and all the other spiritual activities that's what gives life to your fasting so on Saturday night hopefully by 6 p.m. The media would put the prayer focus so that we can take the time and then we'll pray. And for those of us who um, are praying and craving for extra time to just pray, unfortunately, because we meet only once a week, we don't have that kind of time to stretch as your spirit man and your growth should desire. Um, let me invite you to the prayer department's prayer meeting Tuesdays from 4 p.m. at our other venue at DOA. You don't have to be a member of the prayer department. You can just walk in, tell them I came to pray, and then you'll be guided and just, just press it upon your spirit, man, particularly for those who just got saved. It's important that when people get saved, they're introduced to the ministry of prayer so that it primes your growth. It sets the pace for effective growth in the spirit. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you as you leave, make sure you invest time in prayer. You invest time in the structured study of the word. You invest time listening. Go back again and listen at least to the word session of this meeting tonight. And there are more than enough teachings for you to get online. Go to Koinonia Global. You can meet our media team if you want any advice on how to maximize your learning process using the word. They are up the balcony. You can see any of them after service. And they'll be glad to give you recommendations. You can meet any of the ministers around. They can be glad to help you further structure a profitable Christian life. I desire that we become people who are matured, dexterous, furnished in righteousness. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Have you been blessed tonight? Please rise up on your feet. Thank you for your patience. I declare that your weak beginning is blessed in Jesus' name. The hand of the Lord is strong upon you. You will see the evidence of this miracle service all through the week. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will be back-to-back -back testimonies from tonight up until Sunday and up until the month November in the name of Jesus. I call your November a blessed month. I call it a month of favor. I call it a month of testimonies. I call it a month of breakthrough. I call it a month of lifting. You will see the hand of God strong upon your life. You will make constructive destiny along the path of, I mean, a, a constructive progress along the path of destiny in Jesus' name. I bless you with honor. I bless you with favor. Goodness and mercies follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh fire upon your prayer life. Fresh fire upon your word study life. You are separated from evil. Naysayers are far from your life. 
evil doers are far from your life. All who will make for your favor, may they appear this week. All who will make for your spiritual efficiency, may they appear this week. Wisdom is yours this week. You will make quality decisions that enhance your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Together, let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, all the days of our lives, as we dwell in the house of the Lord, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Hug someone by your left and right and tell them congratulations. See you on Sunday.